hello friends welcome back to the channel now in previous lecture we have discussed about uh, uh, the uh, theory behind the bisection method now let's solve one problem related to the bisection method so this is the, an algebraic equation find the root of x cube plus 4x square minus 10 equal to 0 up to an accuracy of 10 raised to minus 3 and initial interval is given 1 comma 2 use bisection method to solve or to find the root of this equation right so let's solve here given data and a is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 so our first task is let's check our interval is correct or not so here a is equals to 1 and b equal to 2 so for correct interval for being the root lying between these two value 1 and 2 uh, multiplication of f of 1 into f of 2 must be less than 0 so first we have to check that so let's check it out f of 1 f of 1 is nothing but 1 cube plus 4 into 1 square minus 10 so this is nothing but minus 5 and f of 2 is nothing but 2 cube plus 4 into 2 square minus 10 so 8 plus 4 into 4 uh, 16 plus 8 uh, 24 minus 10 so it is 14 so if you multiply f of a into f of b it would be less than 0 right so here f of 1 into f of 2 is less than 0 our root is lie within 1 comma 2 our root, our root is lie within 1 comma 2 now using bisection method new approximated root let's define that c is equals to a plus b by 2 so here in our case a equal to 1 plus 2 by 2 so 3 by 2 that is equivalent to 1.5 and now we will check the function value if function value at c now let's prepare the table for uh, list out the all the values of uh, uh, function and interval so let's say the here first value is n so n is equals to number of iteration then a then f of a then b then f of b then c then f of c and last may update the interval okay so when n is equals to 1 in a first iteration value of a is 1 value of a is 1 f of a is minus 5 f of a is minus 5 value of b is 2 value of b is 2 f of b is 14 value of c that we have calculated over here that is 1.5 1.5 5 and let's find out the function value at 1.5 so let's say x cube plus 4x square minus 10 on solve this function 4x equal to 1.5 so that value is 2.375 2.375 so function value is 2.375 now we have to uh, update the interval value right so here what is happening over here let's say this is the our function 
ओके एंड फॉर ए वैल्यू अवर फंक्शन वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव दिस इज अवर एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज अवर एफ ऑफ एक्स राइट सो फॉर ए इक्वल टू वन अवर फंक्शन इज नेगेटिव बिलो दी एक्स एक्सिस सो दिस वुड बी दी नेगेटिव पार्ट दिस वुड बी दी पॉजिटिव पार्ट राइट सिमिलर वे फॉर बी इक्वल टू टू अवर फंक्शन वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव फंक्शन वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव एंड फॉर सी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव फंक्शन वैल्यू इज टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव दैट इज अगेन पॉजिटिव सो सी विल पॉइंट विल लाई ओवर हियर सी पॉइंट विल लाई ओवर हियर इज एंड इट सो अवर एक्चुअल रूट नाउ इज लाई विद इन दिस इंटरवल ए एंड सी राइट सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस बी विथ सी वी हैव टू रिप्लेस B with C. So in next iteration, our B will be changed. So we will assign the value of C to the B. C is equals to B, right? And stopping criteria when we should uh, stop this uh, uh, iteration or iterative method. So when function value becomes when f of C becomes f of C becomes Less than zero point zero zero one. At that time, we will stop our iteration, right? Because we require accuracy up to ten less to minus three. So when our function value uh, will find this uh, f of c is less than zero point zero zero one, then we will stop doing iteration, and that is our root. So that value of c that is our root, right? So here now our new interval will be a and c. So let's say in iteration number two, a will be the same. Function value again will be the same. B is equals to now c. So here we have to replace this is one point five, and function value for uh, this is two point three seven five. Now again we have to use these two value new updated value of a and b. To find this c, so let's say one plus one point five divided by two. So that is one point two five. One point two five. Now, now we will check the function value at one point two five. माइनस माइनस वन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन सिक्स नाइन ओके नाउ हाउ टू चेंज द इंटरवल नाउ वी विल नॉट ड्रॉ एवरी टाइम दिस डायग्राम राइट सो इफ द फंक्शन वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव लुक आउट द फंक्शन वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ एन एफ ऑफ बी आउट ऑफ विच विच वैल्यू हैज अ फंक्शन वैल्यू नेगेटिव सो हियर एफ ऑफ ए हैज अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू राइट सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस a with c if function value is positive look out the function value f of n f of b out of this to which is positive in our case so function value b is positive so we have we had replaced over here b equal to c right so here now we have to replace a equal to c similar way this way we have to do all the iteration and until this f of c value is less than 0.001 now in third iteration Uh, we have to again replace this one with 1.25 for that function we'll use minus 1.7969 b will be same 1.5 f of b will be 2.375 now again we have to find this updated value of uh, 1.25 plus 1.5 divided by 2 So that is one point three seven five, one point three seven five, and for that one point three seven five, again, let's solve this equation for one point three seven five. 
so that is a point one six two one. Uh, at the fifth place there is a zero, so no change in uh, previous uh, digit, right? So point one six two one. Zero point one six two one. Again, this is a positive value. So look out this out of which value has a positive value. So out of f of n, f of b. So f of b is positive value. So replace b with c. So b equal to c. In the fourth iteration, a will be same. One point two five. F of a will be same. B is equals to C, so 1.375, and uh, for that function value is 0.1621. Again, calculate the new updated value of C, 1.25 same, 1.375 divided by 2, so 1.3125. Function 1. 3, 1, 2, 5. and for that find out the function value 1.3125 so function value is negative minus 0 0.8484 since the fifth digit is 8 which is greater than 5 so uh, increase 1 is into uh, into the fourth place digit that is 3 so 0 0.8484 again this is a negative right so replace with a c is replaced with a fifth place 1.3125 is minus 0 0.8484 and b will be same and function value for that is also remain same Again, calculate the new value of uh, root that is 0.1.34357. So, if the last digit is 56789, we will increase the uh, 1 before the subsequent uh, digit. So, here this would become 1.3438. So, 3, 4, 3, 8. and for that func uh, function value is uh, solve 1.3438 minus 0 0.3502 since this is a 7 so it will increase update the variable so value of a is again so update the interval so value of uh, f of c is negative so again f of a is negative so replace a with c a with c six iteration uh, our a will be 1.3438 f of a will be minus 0. Point 3502 f of b will be same 1.375 f of b will be 0 0.1621 let's find out the new approximation so 1.3125 is replaced with 1.3438 and value is 1.3594 1.3594 for that function value is minus 0 0.099 again this is negative so a equal to c seventh iteration 1.3594 for that function value is minus 0 0.0959 b is the same 1.375 f of b is 0 0.1621 c 
value of C will be calculated. So 1.375 as it is 1.3594. So that is equivalent to 1.3672. one point three six seven two for that function value is one point three six seven two zero point zero three two six this is positive so replace with b b equal to c Iteration number 8 so 1.3594 minus 0 0.0959 this is, this is positive so 1.3672 function value is 0 0.0326 C value we will calculate so 1.3594 and the next interval is 1.3672 divided by 2 so 1.3633 and for that function value is 1.3633 minus 0 0.0318 here the f of c is negative so replace with a a equal to c in ninth iteration uh, 1.3633 minus 0 0.0318 1.3672 and now again check the value of C 1.3673 divided by 2 so 1.3652 1 1.3652 again check the function value so 1.3652 so that is less than 0 0.0004 9 minus which is less than uh, our accuracy right f of uh, x less than 0 0.001 so our uh, root is one point three six five two using this bisection method we can even check this uh, using putting this value so f of x should be less than 0 0.001 so i hope you understand this uh, bisection method if you have watched this video until this do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content press the bell icon for latest notification we'll see you in the next video thank you